What's good everybody? I'm Stop D and we've teamed up with Feed Mobile to bring you everything you need to know about Team of the Season. So Team of the Season brings together some of the best players of the season. Powered by your vote, the Team of the Season gets put together with a new league releasing every week. So when you go into the Team of the Season event, you are going to see the chapters here at the top. Now the Community Chapter and the Team of the Season Icon Chapter, these are going to be there throughout the entire event. The league specific ones like the Premier League, these are the ones that are going to change each week uh, and each one is going to have its own unique way for you to engage in the promo now in the community chapter we're going to look at first you are able to earn the community points and you'll get these community points by going through and playing skill games matches doing your daily claims and watching ads each day and then once you earn those you're going to be able to spend them in the community reward section now there are 14 rewards that you can get here and you can see a second set of rewards is going to unlock in 11 days time now once you pick this up, you're going to get one of these rewards each time you do it. And there are 14 different rewards that you can pick up from each of these different reward notes. Now, in the Team of the Season icon chapter, you're going to be able to play through a skill game and a match each day. And from those, you're going to get Team of the Season icon tokens, which you can either pick up one of these Team of the Season 103 plus or icon packs that you can get here. Uh, or you can go ahead and you can save up to get one of the 112 icons or one of the 111 overall event icons from there. Now, with this, there are going to be new icons that are releasing each week so you want to look forward to that with the league chapters you'll see the premier league here is the first one that we're going to have now each one of these is going to have its own unique way for you to engage in the event and in the premier league one for example you have five levels of difficulty so you can see the first three levels of difficulty here that we have you're going to play a skill game and a match and through each of these levels of difficulties are going to be either matches skill games or being able to watch ads to get the premier league points from these Premier League points, you're going to be able to pick up either one of these rewards in difficulty 1, 2, or 3, or the player rewards that you're going to get in difficulty 4 and 5. Now, also in the Premier League section, you can see there's the Premier League Pass. These multi-pass systems are going to be available for each of the leagues. And what you're going to do is you're going to go and complete the quests that you're going to get uh, through the Team of the Season Premier League quests here, or the ones for the future weeks that you're going to have for the other leagues. And so in this, what you're going to do is you're going to complete these quests, and these are going to give you the points that you're going to need to move yourself along the path. They'll also give you some extra rewards you can get along the way including 103 plus player items coins uh, points for the premier league in this instance skill boost and transfer items you can also get weekly quests that you can get for completing the daily quests a certain amount of times. Another thing you'll notice here is the challenge mode. Now the challenge mode is something that's going to happen each weekend and with this challenge mode, once you hit the requirements that you need to play in the challenge mode, you're going to be able to enter the challenge mode where you're going to play a skill event, a match, a skill game, a match, and then you're going to play the big finale where you play a head-to-head -head match to win the championship. Another great way to build your squad is through the exchanges here. So in the event, you're going to get a lot of player items and some of these player items are going to be unauctionable. You can use either those player items or you can use player items that you get off the market to put into these different exchanges and when you complete these exchanges basically grow the overall of the players so you could put in some 110 overall players to get 111 111 overall players to get 112 all the way up to getting yourself 114 overall you can also if you look here at the end we have the team of the season icon token exchange and you go to the pass in the past you'll notice that there is this pass points. So you can use those points to get these Team of the Season icon tokens if you would like. So there you have it. That is everything you need to know about the Team of the Season event in FIFA Mobile. As you go through and play through each of the different matches, you're going to build up the different currencies. Once you get those currencies, you're going to be able to pick up different player items and all of those different rewards that are going to come along with Team of the Season. So thank you for checking this out. Be sure to subscribe to FIFA Mobile here. Go check them out on Instagram and Twitter as well for all the latest updates about Team of the Season. It's been a pleasure. Stop D. Out.